There you go. Right back into taking that cover off. Oh, no. We ain't doing it. So a couple problems with this tractor. Draft arms won't drop and seeing what may be causing that. And there's a lowering check ball that's in this valve. So I'm going to take this little cover off here. Oh, I'm talking to my camera. If I find the right size wrench. Oh, you can't use that. My hair is crazy. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, I'll have to reshoot it all. Hunting head. Hunting head? Oh, you put a head on the wrench. Thanks for telling me. I'll edit you out. You know, what, uh, you know what's funny? Huh? That actually doesn't happen. <laughs> it does, yeah. Well, my hair usually looks terrible. Yeah. But I have so much of it, and it's so luxurious. What? You're not dressed for success. <laughs> I'm not what? Well, for success? Yeah, well. <laughs> I gotta restart this whole thing. What's that? I'm gonna have to edit most of this video. I'm taping, you know. I'm pulling this cover off. I'm trying to do a film here. Uh-oh, this looks to me like there's some springs under here because it's pushing. Ah, look, I'm flying out. Oh, I'm nothing but trouble. So we're gonna take this apart slow. I'm a little... A little leery of all the springs flying out. A lot of guys have trouble with this draft o -matic. It's talking to. Of course, I, you know what? It happens on anything. And mainly because of moisture in the oil, and then it, it sticks stuff. It makes stuff stick. It sits for a little while. Let's face it. 50-some-year-old tractor, you know it's sitting for a little while. Right, Connor? Right. Doesn't usually agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... Feels like there's not much springage going on there. I see the springs, there's two of them. One spring's not touched anymore, which means it's probably stuck in there already. I don't know if the draft arms go down. Of course, right now they're in the up position, so. Hey, Connor, they got rebuilt valves. Oh, yeah, how much? Uh, 200 bucks. 200 bucks? Yeah, see, there's moisture in there. 200 bucks for a rebuilt valve. Probably not worth tearing this one apart, is it? I don't know, so we got that spring there. Goes in that way. This spring here, much heavier, goes in that way. Oh, this is gooey junk here. Yeah, we're looking looking kind of nasty in there. Well, I might have to convert it with the book a little bit. Let's see. I pull this little this little guy out, which I don't know what it is. It's some kind of plug with a O-ring on it. And what falls it right out, except for a puddle of water. So doesn't look good to me. I don't know if that's a shuttle in there I can pull out or what I can do, but this thing pushes back and forth. If I move the lever this way, it comes out. It moves it out this way. Not far enough to actually grab it and yank it out. I can't quite grab it. I'd like to yank it right out and see what's back in there. So far what I got is just finding water in there and rust. Probably that valve's crap. Probably have to get a new one. I'm trying to get this guy out. I pull that out, that big spring, right? And I noticed that there's a screwdriver setting there, and I grabbed, I, I got a screwdriver and I started turning that, it turns this whole outer thing. So I'm gonna try to pop that out. But I think this ball is probably our problem. Let's see. Did you find your problem? I don't know. I know my symptoms. So this is the part I'm talking about right here. And I'm, I'm just a little worried about, since the draft arms are up, not a lot, but there's pressure on them, if I could pop that out and throw the ball across the room and I'll never find it again. So, maybe what I'll do is brace the draft arms up so they can't drop. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'll probably just use like a ratchet strap or something just to pull them up. Probably shouldn't really grab things like this with big old nasty pliers, but I don't think I got that much to lose. It's coming out, it's not like totally, it's not totally seized up and rotten and rusted. There it is, that's the shuttle I just pulled out of there. It's got a set screw. How do I get the ball out of there, though? Maybe what I do is put the plate back on and see if I can't shove those draft arms down. Shove the draft arms down? Yeah, you heard me. I just don't want that ball flying out. Shooting across the room. Yeah. Or a surgery ball. I don't know what they call it. Gosh, you don't ever get terminology right. Yeah, the lowering speed screw. That's this guy right here. Maybe that's jammed shut because if that's jammed shut... Ooh, what's this? There's a spring here. And then there's this setting. I don't know what that does. It doesn't turn. This screw right here has got me intrigued because I don't know. I think that screw is this guy right here. Sets the speed because it's just the valve basically that slows the flow. Leading to that check. The ball's stuck in the sump. Won't let it, won't let it move. I don't know. Something's gomered up. This does not have a screw driver head on it. So I don't know. What's the book set? It says a lot of stuff. The book says so much I can't read it all. 
Oh well, back letting the draft arms down. See if that works. Push See if button. that'll push the little ball out for me. I would put pressure on and push the ball out. Yeah. But I want the ball flying, so I put the cover back on. Uh-huh. So there's a check ball stuck in the valve. What I'm saying? thinking, but... I don't know. You think it's the main problem? I need something really big and heavy to push these arms down. Connor. <laughs> That's funny stuff. I understand your jokes. Up to our little draft. That's a dead. That's a dead stop right there. Yeah, it is. But it goes up first, so I mean they move. It's not like the cylinder seized in there. I don't think. Hmm. Might wind up tearing this whole thing apart, Connor. Make you happy, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, valve's coming off. That's what's happening next. I'm gonna pull off this top plate, this, this. Oh, this comes right off. So I'm gonna slide that top plate off, and hopefully get in here, unhook these, this line, these bolts, and lift the thing up. By then, I imagine something's gonna cut loose and it's gonna drop the arms. Dude, this little guy broke. It was broke, so. So that's part of it, it's broke. But it's past the halfway point, it's so seized on there, I can't get it to pop off. <laughs> so I gotta work on that. Ew! All right, so I finally got this top cover off, which took forever, because this shaft's kind of rusty and it was clinging to it, and I had to pry it back and forth. And this is how this thing goes. Uh, well, not, to be honest, I don't know how it goes. I know this tells it where it's at, and then that works with where you want it to be, and then depending on how hard it's pulling, sends it where it's really gonna go. Does that make any sense? Sure does. But anyway, what really doesn't make sense is all the rust in here. I mean, it's not horrible, not the end of the world rust, but yeah, you can see how it's all wet. Uh, it's where everything condensates, comes up out of the oil when you get water in there. So here we are. I have to, this valve is what I want to get off so I can see what's going on. So I got to figure out how to get, oh, that pin comes out. There's a little snap ring there. Pull that pin and then I think I can just pull this thing right out. And then we'll go from that. But yeah, keep your tractors dry. Okay, not exactly sure that these draft arms wouldn't drop and just start shooting oil all over the place once I unhooked this valve. So I took out these four bolts, which were a pain. I used the impactor to slowly rock them loose. And we got in here and then I, I got this pin out and I tapped that a couple times that loosened up because that was stiff and see there's a slot there and that was tight. So I loosened that up. Now this stuff all works and now I'm, I'm sliding this out of the way. So my next thing is picking this up and off. So there it is, it's got three oil ports. And there's no gasket, just no rings. Look at all the dirt. Oh my gosh, I gotta suck that up with the vacuum, I guess. And I'm gonna slowly, I'm gonna see if I can let it, uh, let the draft arms down. Maybe it's not the valve after all. God, I'm siphoning out a whole pile of water. Look at oh that. Oh my gosh, you got the world's smallest hose. Yeah, I sucked up a good taste of it too. Mm -mm. Mm, I bet you it tastes really good. It does. Well, it's mostly water, just with So we know why the, the draft arms don't work, because it sucked up a bunch of water. And sucked up water, seized, seized up, up the cylinder. That's what it seems to be to me. How are you gonna fix that? Are you gonna just pour a bunch of PP blast, see if uh, we walk in here one morning and it's down? <laughs> I don't know. How about Coca Cola? That might need the whole tractor. Huh? That might need the whole tractor. How about muriatic acid? <laughs> uh, no, not muriatic acid. All right, not muriatic acid. Oh, I just got the hose down in further. I think I'm all the way in now. Does that mean I gotta take another gulp full of this water? I gotta figure out how to siphon this without putting my lips on it again. <laughs> yeah, make me do it. That's a great idea. I know better. <laughs> oh, he knows better. <laughs> Funny. Just for that, I'm using all the footage with your no hat. <laughs> all right, gotta try siphoning it again. Gross. All right, you see that rod there, very shiny rod. That goes to the draft arms. And behind there is a the piston. There we go. You can see the piston right there, kind of where I'm trying to shine the light. That's a piston and a sleeve, and that's been full of water, and we don't know how long it's been full of water, and it's rusted up. I can lift on them, and then it'll move that rod, and it drops down, but it hits that, hits that piston and stops dead. But since I've taken that off, uh, I expected the oil to come 
gushing up out of there as the arm sank, and that didn't happen. So pretty much convinced that that's what's going on. The piston seized up in there. I'm going to try something cheesy first, probably like put some PB blast down it or something like that, something to lubricate it, maybe get it to break free somehow. Other than that, we got to lift the lid, get right in there. Okay, so I got this hose stuck in there, and I'm trying to clean that cylinder out, so I blew some air in it, and it shot a geyser of watery, oily mess. It's mostly water, mostly water in there. But contrary to popular belief, I don't like making messes, so I'm going to do it again only with a rag over top. Oh, Hopefully, I'll catch it. Look at that. I know. Just water. Same water that's been in there all this time. Yeah. I... So, try it again. Go ahead. I'll hold the rag. Oh. It broke out a whole bunch. Oh, that stuff's gross. It's a disgusting milkshake. It's milkshake, oil. Milkshake. Yeah. I think that cylinder is just completely full of water, which means it's probably completely full of rust. Yeah. And I have a pointer at it. <laughs> Your control of the rag. I think you got most of it out. It's like the giant snot. Oh, that's gross. Okay. What are you going to do? Are you going to funnel a bunch of kerosene down in there? Or? Mineral spirits? That it doesn't have the same breakdown ability as other stuff like that. Kerosene doesn't. That's what everybody always does. They carry kerosene dissolved rust. But it don't. What do it? Is it somewhere for the water to escape? Is that your plan? <laughs> I don't know what my plan is. Oh, yeah, I know what your plan is. Oily, gooey mess. You better ride with them Mars than that. You better look this off. There's no way to get, unless you don't want a three point hitch, but the whole point is track. So we'll have a three point hitch. Yeah, no, I got, we got it. We're slowly moving into the 60s here. At an alarming rate. The late, the 1960s. The late 60s. <laughs> yeah, the 1960s are coming right up. Mark's here. Hi, Mark. How you doing? Well, I've got a rusty lift cylinder. Is that yeah. any indication? <laughs> wow. Doesn't take much room here today, does it? Well, Connor's decided we should just pull the whole top off. Just rip the tractor apart. Yeah, I'm going to tear the tractor apart. So this is how you wind up on the slippery slope and you start digging deeper and deeper and deeper. But it's something that doesn't work and I want it to work. I want the three point to work. So I got to unpin it here and there. And then it's just the bolts around here. That bolt, that bolt, all the way around. And then we'll just lift it off. I got to hook this, this line here. Which this line's got to get changed anyway. It's pretty rusty here. I'm worried about it popping. I don't want to fix it later. So I think that's where we're going to go. Wow. Oh, you're just glad. You always wanted to get this tore off, oh, didn't you? Totally. I'm glad there's a reason. <laughs> the slippery slope of tractor buying. Slippery slope. You're buying a used hammer. So used hammer? That's what it is. It's a hammer. People hit things with them. <laughs> Whatever. Used <laughs> hammer. I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway. All right. I'm going to start digging in.